Willie D. Live. It's morally corrupt. Get rid of it right now. I don't give a damn about people talking about what well, we need to get our shine on. If you want to shine, man, y'all show off some of them diamonds y'all digging up over there. <laughs> do not, do not support that reality show stuff. Destroy it when these producers from the West come over there and they try to do it. Kick them out on their heads because ain't nothing good going to come from it. Would, would you do a would you do a reality show? Like, I mean, you know, you you you're a boss, so you don't have to really wait on anybody to 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 bring you a deal. You can actually create your own thing. Like, I I, I don't think that you I don't think that you really understand the gravity of your of your 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 influence. Like in terms of like, you know, the way the, the life that you live, like people would be very interested in seeing what you do behind the scenes. Yeah. I don't know if you really understand that. I mean, like I say, long as it's not toxic, I could be a part of it. Yeah. It ain't for to be no hollering, talking shit, fighting right. and all that. Nah, I ain't no. gonna do it like that. No, it shouldn't be. It wouldn't even look right. Yeah. I'd yeah. be like, oh, man, they got you. They <laughs> got dash, man. No. Oh, hell. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, your your son, your son is singing and rapping in today's industry, which is really full of a lot of toxicity. Yeah, there's a like I mean, down there. Every rapper you can think of got a beef with somebody, and these beefs today are different than they were in our day. You know, oh, yeah. in our day, you know, most of those beefs they stayed on the records they didn't get past the studio. Mm -hmm. These days, I mean I mean these kids are knocking each other's heads off. Oh yeah. I sure. mean, does that concern you? I mean, yeah and no, because he he's not gonna be that type of artist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna I don't even want him to even yeah. He, he ain't been in no hood or none of that shit. Even though the the suburban kids Look like they out there plexing harder than the dudes in the hood, you know. Trying mm -hmm. to, I guess, trying to emulate that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But nah, my son ain't gonna be that type of artist. And then I also want him to get in acting as well, cause he want to do that too. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, and Marlon, his picture is still on the what is it? Uh, the Children's Houston Library? No, what is it? The museum. The Children's Museum. His picture is still on the side of the bridge and on the front of that building. And that's something he did when he was about five or six years old. So y'all roll by there and show it to him from time to time? Well, he know now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, he know it's down. Yeah, he, he know probably... It I'm talking about even when COVID came, they didn't even take the picture down. They just put a mask on him. Huh. Yeah, the picture's still up there. Yeah. That's dope. So he got more like that Drake type style. Yeah, he'll be more like that. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's really, really good money in hip hop. It's still good money in it, and it's still you know a lot of integrity in it if you carry yourself with that type of energy. Yeah. And when you look at the, the youngsters, most at least most of them that got their head knocked off, you know, or they got in a jam, it's the energy that yeah. they surround themselves with. Yeah. It's that energy, bro. Yeah, for and, sure. And, you know, you resemble who you assemble. Yeah. 